What's up, you? No, I'm fucking kidding. <laughs> What's up guys, today we got a Supreme uh, pickup video, it's been delayed a while, I know I start every video, every video like that because I don't know why, I don't know, maybe I just don't take YouTube seriously, but um, this one was delayed because I was sick, I still have somewhat of a cough, and uh, if you know, like if you have a cough, you're not sleeping, you're fucking wet, coughing 24-7, you just can't make a video, you can't talk, and it, it's pretty frustrating, so of course as you can tell by the title, this is the Cindy Sherman uh, collaboration with Supreme, Cindy Sherman, New York photographer. Um, the decks aren't really what she's known for, that whole grotesque series they did in Mon. She's more of a, um, I think self-portrait, I guess you could kind of say. Like, she, I think she takes pictures of herself and kind of puts them in different scenarios and stuff like that. So this is kind of departure what she's known for. Um, I, th I would think the boards were pretty, I think they weren't as hyped as most artist boards, I would say, because the, the content matter and they aren't, like, visually pleasing to some people. But I just thought they were super interesting, super cool. I like the colors on them. And uh, I really wanted them. I thought they were a true artist collaboration. So having those two boards up, I think those will stand out in my collection. So let's get right into them. And also with this video, I got another a bunch of other decks I actually uh, coincidentally picked up. So I'm going to throw them in the video at the end. First off, we'll start with the untitled um, 181. Yeah, 181. This one would probably be the least favorite, I guess, from the collaboration. And it's my least favorite, too. Um, kind of got like the sausage vibe going all over it some like ketchup and just a lot of food it looks like um kind of you threw like a whole dinner out in the garbage it's kind of got that whole i guess i would say like the underlying meaning is something uh, misogynistic men towards women something like that something about you know with all the sausages it's got to be something about men um i didn't really research what this one was uh, was about but i'm guessing it's got like a some misogynistic kind of gross vibe with it still i think it's cool uh, a lot of people you know, see a sausage, sausage, and they think dick, so they were just like not about it. But they were still pretty hard to get these decks, so everyone really pretty much hated them, and they still tried for them. And I think the cool, it's a really cool uh, full dipped board. I like the teal um, other side, and then you got her little uh, signature above the box logo. I just like this dark teal board color. They're fully dipped both these boards, so I think that's uh, pretty cool too. It's a nice little touch. This is Untitled 175, and this one I think I heard a little bit about um, when I researched it. It's something about like um, being, what's that called, a bulimic? Something like that, and it looks like a bunch of thrown up cupcakes or something. Um, and then you got the sunglasses up here, and with like kind of a, a portrait of a woman, and a vomit, and then cupcakes. I think that was kind of like what the vibe I was getting from it. This one's really cool. I actually, I really like how just obscure and weird this one is, and the colors look really well. I like the whole dip, like aqua color. Once again, her signature, the box logo right there. Yeah, just a really cool board. I'm like happy they fully dipped these boards. I think that's a nice little touch. Happy to get those. I feel like those are real, true, kind of an old collaboration Supreme would do with artists back in the day for their deck boards. A little bit more dark and stuff like that. So really happy to get those. And then from a pass uh, collaboration from the Akira collab. I had to go back and uh, get the boards that I filled on. So I got I got these resale for a pretty decent price. I got the syringe board. Uh, Tetsuo getting kind of a shot up by his girlfriend. Some needle. It's a Supreme in the needle. I think it's a nice touch. They put Supreme on the on the graphics somewhere. It's black stained. Supreme box with a sticker in there. And horizontal board. Horizontal uh, graphics really aren't my favorite because they don't... Even skateboarding, I, didn't, I just don't like horizontal graphics. I like when the boards stand up straight and see the graphics. This one, a little bit of an issue with this one. Uh, <clears throat> the Neo Tokyo Supreme board, of course, from the Akira collab. This one I got from a guy on eBay, and it is not shrink-wrapped. He said he went, got it from the Brooklyn store, and it wasn't shrink-wrapped. So all my boards are pretty much shrink-wrapped, except a few skateboards that got autographed, and it really bugged me, so I'm going to let this one go. And I already bought another one that's shrink-wrapped for like 30 bucks more, so... Selling this one for like 200 gifted on PayPal. It's, it's, that's exactly what I paid for. Just, or I could do, be an asshole and do like a refund on eBay, but we'll see how it goes. And then a last board not related to Supreme in the least, but since I've been skateboarding for the past um, 2001, it's almost six, 16 years. Um, the big guy in the industry back in the day when I was like skateboarding every day going to school, Bam Margera. He basically had his own era. Um, it was pretty much Bam. He annihilated board sales. I heard he was doing like 40 grand a week or 40 grand a month in board sales, which is like amazing. I mean, I feel like some skateboarders don't make 40 grand a year. So 
definitely was like part of my growing up childhood of skateboarding. Um, his boards back in the day, this is all upside down, I'm sorry. His boards back in the day were one of the few boards that were actually eights, which is like small in today's standards. Like most people skate a seven and a half, seven, seven, five. His boards were actually like eight, eight by eight by 32. So I never got one. I did get like a mini pink one with a bat, but I never got one of these like famous ones with his name and stuff on it. And I always wanted one, it was like, eh, they're too big though, I can't skate it. So I'm happy to get this one. This was released on the Element website only in this pink colorway. And they had a bunch of other colorways that released on other websites. But I thought this one had like the best colors as I smacked myself in the face. I thought this one just had the best colors and it looked really cool. It was kind of a low key release. No one really like, they didn't really like advertise it, but uh, sold out eventually after everyone kept on posting comments on Instagram. But really happy to get this board. I'm actually trying to get more, um, you know the funny thing too, Bam actually says he still skates an eight. You know, thinks, thinking they would he skated an eight back then, he'd skate probably like an eight and a half by now, but still skates an eight. But um, another thing cool, I'm just trying more to branch out from Supreme Skateboards and collect um, just skateboards I like, you know. Um, I know everyone's always like, just buy the skateboard and, and skate them. Like, I do. I do, motherfucker. Shut up. Like, I do buy the skateboard and skate them. But I actually like other skateboards to collect and hang on. It's like the best piece of like art you can have for your house or your home or anything like that. It looks cool. And I'm just like a collector. I collect a lot of shit. So I'm trying to branch out and just get other kind of boards I like and boards that meant to me, stuff to me back in the day. Um, I want to get that Brian Wedding reissue from Habitat. Super cool skateboarder, so I want to support him. But yeah, trying to get more like ran more random skateboard decks to collect than uh, hoard and somehow figure out where to put them in the new house eventually. But like I said, thanks guys for watching. Thanks for being patient as my uh, videos um, come out slowly. Um, I don't know if I picked anything up from Supreme lately. Just the boards. Um, Black Friday coming up, maybe a lot of sales. I'll pick up some stuff, make a video of my Black Friday pickups. Um, I got the Dime DC shoes. I might make a little video on that since I'm, I can talk again and make videos. So expect a few random videos from me right now. Um, I don't think I haven't got anything from Supreme in a what since those decks. So uh, yeah, we'll see what to drop some Supreme. I might make a video on that stuff. This week's drop is like the leather jag with the skulls and skeleton, and then like the Playboy cardigan. Like none of that stuff I want. So we'll see what happens. Expect a few more random videos. Um, Cipher collection is going to be dropping. Eventually, it will happen. Uh, we got three designs, three different colored shirts, got three decks that will come out too of the past design. So be patient with me. It's, it's, it's a very small right now. It's like hard to like do everything by yourself almost. So like I said, appreciate the support. Stay tuned for more videos and uh, stay tuned for that Cypher drop. Thanks guys, appreciate it. Self-portrait, what the fuck? All these fucking decks keep falling over. I'm gonna murder someone. <coughs> Ah.